from Deloitte Tax and Legal Japan. Welcome to the Japan Perspective. This is a podcast where we speak to specialists from across Deloitte to discuss the latest business issues impacting foreign multinational companies in Japan. I'm today's host, Sho Unishi. Today's guest is Yutaka Kitamura. He is the tax controversy leader at DT Legal Japan and an attorney at law in Japan and the state of New York. His team has helped many companies navigate the complexity surrounding a tax audit in Japan and has been successful in many instances in negotiating a favorable result s for the taxpayer. Thank you for joining the podcast. I would like to talk about what you do and how you support companies during a tax audit. But first, in order to set the scene, Can I ask you to please walk through the typical tax audit process in Japan? Thank you for inviting me. The typical tax audit process in Japan is probably quite similar to those in your many other countries. At first, the tax examiners generally notify a taxpayer of the start date, time, and location of the field audit. As well as the tax items and the period to be audited. The tax examiners may require the taxpayer and its counterparties to provide additional relevant books, documents, and other materials as necessary, even after the field audit. Where the tax examiners find that a tax return was incorrect or disagree on a tax position taken by the company. The tax examiners will explain their audit findings, including any errors identified and the calculation and amount of any additional tax payable. They usually will encourage the taxpayer to file an amended tax return, incorporating their findings voluntarily, which will basically close the audit. However, if the taxpayer does not file an amended tax return, The tax authorities will issue an assessment notice. The duration of a tax audit depends on the taxpayer's circumstances. Usually, a tax audit takes between one and six months, but may take longer, particularly where a transfer pricing audit is conducted. Okay, it sounds like if the taxpayer agrees or at least accepts the findings of tax examiners. It can file an amended return and close the audit. If the taxpayer disagrees with the findings, is there anything they can do, or do they simply need to wait for the assessment notice? Of course, the taxpayer can argue back to the tax examiners. And if the tax examiners agree on the taxpayer's view, the issue will be resolved during the tax audit. If they don't agree and issue an assessment notice, The taxpayer can file a tax appeal with the National Tax Tribunal and, if necessary, litigate the assessment in court. However, it takes much more time and the taxpayer will incur more costs if it wants to conduct a tax appeal or litigation. Therefore, resolving any differing opinions during the tax audit is generally in the best interest of the taxpayer. In some recent cases, we are seeing taxpayers present a legal opinion challenging one or more of the findings of the tax examiner. And increasingly, there are cases where the taxpayers' views are accepted during the audit due to a well formulated legal opinion.、Hmm. What exactly is a legal opinion? Can you give us any example of when it's being applied? A legal opinion is a document that the tax lawyer explains at the detailed rationale for why the taxpayer's view should be accepted with supporting evidence. This could be a document with quite large value, similar to a brief, filed during the tax litigation. The tax examiners would usually review the legal opinion very seriously. Because filing a legal opinion during a tax audit by itself is still not that common practice in Japan. Typically, their internal lawyers will review this and consider 
because of the taxpayer's view would be accepted from a legal perspective if the taxpayer were going to the tribunal or court. This is why the taxpayer's views are increasingly accepted during a tax audit due to the taxpayer filing a legal opinion. Here's an example. A taxpayer and a target company which had tax losses were merged and the taxpayer succeeded the tax losses from the target. The tax examiner argued that the tax losses should not be succeeded under anti-avoidance rules. This is a complex tax law case and can be subject to interpretation. After we examined the matter, we drafted a legal opinion supporting the succession of the tax losses and showing that the anti-avoidance rule should not be applied to this specific case. This was presented during the tax audit. And after reviewing the opinion, the tax examiners did not deny the succession of tax losses. Since this issue was resolved during the audit, both the taxpayer and the tax authorities were able to avoid a potentially time-consuming and a costly appeals and litigation process. Understood. For taxpayers that may be preparing for an upcoming tax audit in Japan, is there any advice you would provide? First, it's important to understand that taxpayers have options if there is a potential assessment and the appropriate option will depend on various factors, such as the amount of the assessment, the strength of the taxpayer's position, resources to handle any appeals or litigation, etc. In some cases, it makes sense to simply agree with the tax examiner and file an amended tax return. In other cases, it may make sense to present a legal opinion. Second, it's important to work with a trusted tax advisor with experience in dealing with Japanese tax audit to support the company throughout the tax audit process, including analyzing whether a challenged position could be accepted at the tribunal or in court, and advising how the taxpayer should handle any potential assessments. This is the core of what my team does. And lastly, I would say, that even before the tax audit starts, if the taxpayer has any uncertain tax position, it may be prudent to analyze whether the position will be accepted at the tribunal or court and have documentation ready to be presented for the upcoming tax audit. Thanks again, Kitamura-san, and thank you very much to our listeners for tuning in to this episode. If you want to learn more about tax audits in Japan or would like to connect with Kitamura-san, please don't hesitate to visit our website. The link will be posted at podcast website. Last but not least, you can find our episodes of the Japan Perspective on LinkedIn, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Facebook, and Next. Have a great day, and we hope you'll listen in to our next episode.